Hello, Scorpio. <laughs> it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody is well. All right, we're throwing them down for you for January 2022. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head, my head around it as well. <laughs> it does not feel like 2022. It's like I was just celebrating Canadian Thanksgiving and I blinked and it was freaking New Year's. I don't know what the heck happened. Anyway, anyway. If it resonates with you, cool. If not, check in Moonrise during Venus sign reading. If you think you might want them, then it might resonate a little bit better. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. So, if it hasn't played out yet, it might be playing out right now. It might play out somewhere in the future. All things can and maybe vice versa. So, it might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. Just place yourself where you see fit and insert whatever pronoun works best for you. Anybody who's new here, thanks for coming by. If you move my vibe and stuff, you might want to come hang out some more. You can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be awesome. If you're returning, welcome back. It's nice to see you. I have turned comments back on, and as long as people aren't being jerks, I will continue to leave the comments going. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. Sorry, I'm trying to just quick like shuffle the cards I don't care whose cards they are mine or somebody else's and if it is definitely not your story and you're really not taking anything out of it just leave the cards on the table and walk away don't take it with you if it doesn't belong to you because that just starts fights and drama and I really don't like starting fights and drama that's not what I'm, that's not my bag guys it's not what I'm about I don't even like it in my own life I don't like starting crap in other people's okay Do, 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 do. One more quick shot. We'll get the cards invoked and get them down. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide, Dark Angels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. And I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right, set you guys aside. You know what, I'm gonna move these because they're kind of in the way right now. Okay. One more quick shuffle. Oh, could be dealing with the Capricorn. Bring back a golden oldie spread. Those of you who've been hanging out for a minute might recognize it. Bottom of the deck, eight of swords, okay. Anxiety. Capricorn, any fixed sign, so Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Empress, for me, that could be Aries or Gemini. Huh. All right. A lot of water. Cancer or another Scorpio. Signs aren't important. It's just the energy coming off the cards. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to shut up and throw down the energy of the person that you're dealing with. I don't know. Seven of Wands reverse, bottom of the deck. Aye. Really? Nine of Cups reversed in the Ten of Pentacles, really? Yeah. 
you got to have your own nine cups first before you can take somebody else's cup. Just throwing that out there. And pentacles aren't cups. Pentacles are important, but they're not cups. There's a huge difference between emotional fulfillment and financial fulfillment. Some people don't get that. Some people are emotionally fulfilled by the financials, but you know, that's not all of us. Let me one on this devil. Why the devil card for Scorpio? For the here and now. King of Pentacles reversed. Knight of Wands. Sex based. It's not all it's cracked up to be, is it? Nine of Cups reverse. Nope. All right, how do you feel about them? Oh, wow. That's a bunch of cards. I'm putting them back. There's the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the High Priestess reversed. I'm putting them back. Let's see if any of them come back out. Could be a wounded ego. Could be extremely independent. Could have ghosted, but we'll see if they come back out. Empress reversed, please. Empress reversed, please. So far, you're feeling like this ain't gonna do anything. There's no, there's no hope for growth here. They've got options. reversed emperor they've got options could potentially be a control freak why the five of pens reversed ten, ten of swords two of wands reversed eight of cups Is this a recurring nightmare? I feel like for some of you, this could be a recurring nightmare. And this person's been in and out and can't make up their mind. Either they're constantly stuck at the crossroads or they have you constantly stuck at the crossroads. But it ends and then they come back. And it ends and then they come back. Could be an Aries. Hmm. Okay. One on six of cups. Six of swords. Boys to men, really. Wow. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Yup. There was good times. But it wasn't equal. Six pentacles reversed in the world. I think you're taking the good times with you. Or you feel like they're taking the good times with them. Either way, this is the cycle is closing. It could be a repetitive cycle. Mm. 
Maybe you feel like it needs to end and you just soon take the memories with you. You do not want to start this back up. You don't. All right, what's the Four of Cups for your intended actions? What's the Four of Cups? Put the rest back. High Priestess reversed. Oh, you hip to it. You're... <laughs> You're ignoring any further offers. You, you're hip to what's going on. You're not going to let them get to you anymore. You're not going to lose any more sleep over it. What's the Wheel of Fortune all about? I feel like this is a karmic cycle coming to a close. or reverse your cut in communication off. Probably blocking them. You're probably going to end up blocking them. I see you coming out of the state of anxiety. All right. Let's talk about them. Seven of Wands reversed. I feel like they feel a little bit defeated. What's this Two of Pentacles reversed all about? What's this Two of Pentacles reversed all about? Ace, page of Pentacles. Do I or don't I? I have but a small offer. Mm. Two pentacles reversed, justice reversed. Oh my god. They are not on the level with you. Mm. Possibly they feel like they're being treated a little unfairly, maybe. Do I or don't I? I got a lot of offer. It could be juggling more than one person. I don't know. What's this chariot? For how they feel about you? What's the chariot? Talk to me about the chariot. It winds in judgment. Mmm, yeah. resurrect this again probably possibly again if you guys aren't in communication right now which I don't think you are the star they want to hail it four of cups I feel like they feel like they're going to be ignored though what do they think of you? What's death? Talk to me about death. Hermit reversed. Chariot reversed. Page of cups. Knight of, oh, wait. That was there. Page of cups. They want to make you an offer. But you're closed off to it. They want to close the distance. They, they want to bring this back from the dead. It's two of wands reversed for their intended actions toward you.
if there are babies involved. <laughs> if this is like a um, baby mama, baby daddy situation, there's going to be manipulation. Queen of Swords. Five of Swords reversed. Four of Wands. They, they want to open the door back up. They're going to tell you just enough truth to get out of hot water. Just enough truth to end the argument. All right, conclusion, Knight of Swords. Their Knight of Swords is in the upright, so Six of Cups. Hold on a second, I gotta take this. Sorry, that was my stepsister. I had to answer the phone. Okay, so we're addressing this. Yeah, they're gonna communicate and try to play that nostalgia card. Might be stalking some social media stuff, but chasing after you. They want it back. The fortune reversed. Oh my gosh. They don't want to end this. Death reversed at the bottom of the deck. They don't want to end this. You very much want and need this to be over. They don't. All right, let's get a moonology. Let's get a moonology. Take time to breathe out, okay? I mean, it, it's really the important half of breathing, if you stop and think about it, because you can only take in so much air before you just gotta get it out. Alright, and a wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom. Not for you. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. The intensity of the full moon has abated. And what are you left with? That's what this card is asking you. It suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself another's time out to relax. Breathe. We can't be on all the time. If you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself if you feel bad about your current situation, and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, number six. Lots of sixes. Lots of sixes. Okay. Not for you. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning, but the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being protected by the divine. If you are the one who must, be, must reject another, remember 
that you do so for both your sakes. For every pot there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. Okay, well. Scorpio, my lovelies. Let's make 2022 an amazing year. Okay, it's just getting started with just a couple of days in. Have a bomb January, for real. Peace, love, and light, and I'll catch you guys next time.